Hello from Mrs. Abby. Welcome to my channel. This is a bathroom tour and how to decorate it with houseplants. Enjoy. The shower curtains are from Frizz. There are three shower curtains that created this beautiful look. The two white shower curtains are identical. I place one above the other one on two different shower rods to give it a more spa type look and to make it look expensive. The fuchsia color shower curtain that drapes the top of the shower curtains is also from Fred's. The shower curtain hooks, I've been had a very long time. I can't even remember where I got them from. But they are pink and green, or fuchsias and green. Now let me go back up and show you the chandelier that's in the bathroom. It is a beautiful black chandelier that has crystal bees, teardrop type bees that hangs down from the candle holders. It has five candle holders. I don't have the candle holders placed on them right now. I don't think that I'm going to place any on there. But the chandelier came from Ross probably about three or four years ago. It was in my storage and I decided to bring it out, dust it off, and hang it in this bathroom. Next, we have a white bookshelf, and this is a small bathroom, so I'm trying to get it all. I hope I can. I want a white bookshelf because I want the bathroom to look like a spa, and this bookshelf came from a local used furniture store. And when I saw it, I had to bring it home. The bookshelf houses all of our 
bathrooms, essentials, and I'm not going to name those because you can put in your bathroom exactly whatever you feel that's needed in your bathroom. Some of the items came from other places that I'm not going to name, like that item right there. I bought it right after Easter, and it is an egg, but it lights up. Now you all know that this video is about decorating with house plants because house plants purify the air in your home, makes the air quality better, easier for you to breathe. And the bathroom is one of those places that possibly can have a lot of air pollution from, you know, a lot of different things. So I placed a plant in here and it looks beautiful. This live plant here was bought from Lowe's and it is absolutely beautiful in this bathroom. And it sits in a fuchsia's color flower pot that I bought from Dollar Tree and the other one that sits, that the plant sits in was bought from Walmart. There's another plant that sits on the counter. Again, that plant came from Lowe's and the pot the flower pot came from Dollar Tree. Looking over towards the toilet area, again, that's an egg that I bought after Easter and it matches the decoration in my bathroom, so I decided to put it on the toilet and I wanted to place it in a black mural that's trimmed in black. And above there are my two towels that matches the decor of the bathroom. The white towel I've had for a very long time. The Fuchsia's pink color hand tower, I bought it from Burlington, I think. The wall decor, I found it at Burlington and I love those because I, I was trying to keep the bathroom simple but yet elegant. And I didn't want a whole lot of busy things going on in the bathroom. So yes, those come from Burlington. Going on around and that's me in the mirror right there. And I'm trying to get into this bathroom because it's sort of small, but yet it is functional. Again, that is the vanity with the live plant on it. And in the corner over there is another one of the eggs that I bought. And they light up a particular night. It gives up good light at night. And I'm not going to turn the lights off so you can see it, but one day maybe I'll show it to you. And I just want to put a different color in here to just bring it out, to break up some of the colors that are in here. That mural right there on that wall there also came from Burlington 
and I love it and it is pink also it looks a little peachy but it's really pink it's simple and elegant and that's all I want to place on that wall there now remember this is an older apartment so there are no updated things that are in here you just have to make it look good And yes, I have on a pink dress to match the decor. And down by the toilet, I just placed a white trash bin, trash can, whatever you want to call it. And on the floor, I just put two Fuchsia's color, pink color, bathroom mats, or bathroom rugs, whatever you want to call them, just to bring out the fuchsia's color. Very nice. I bought those from Walmart. And what I want to say is that this bathroom was decorated very inexpensively, but it looks very elegant. So anyone that's just getting started or trying to save money but yet want to decorate their bathroom, this is the route you can go. So I hope you enjoyed this view of my bathroom and I hope you're inspired to go ahead and buy some live plants and place them around your bathroom to help with the decor and I'm very sure that you're going to enjoy your spa type bathroom. Now my husband also took pen around for me because I got a little tired and I'm going to post what he did so you'll see him in the mirror panning, panning for me. I hope I'm pronouncing that word right. Um, so anyway, my husband is coming now and he's going to give you a complete tour of the bathroom. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what you think about the bathroom. What you think about the live plants. Should I add more plants? Always space for that. You can get rid of some of the other things. And just tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the fuchsias and white colors. Tell me what you think about the shower curtains. And how I did a DIY on it. All right, God is good all the time. And this is from Mrs. Abby. Have a good day and God bless.